One of the most useful tools that got added in Personas Studio One version 5, which is also included in the Prime Free Edition, is the Clip Gain Automation. I'm going to demonstrate how to access the Clip Gain Automation and how to use it in just a moment, but to show you why it's really, really great feature added in version 5, is that in the past, when you receive a, or record a vocal track, there's lots of dynamics in the vocal track and also or noises in between that you would need to select, edit and delete and get rid of. Well, you don't have to do it with the clip gain anymore. And also, as you select certain parts of vocals, let's say I'm going to select this part because that's a little bit lower than the rest of the vocals because that's just coming in. Uh, I'm just going to select this part and delete that and um, this part and I'm just going to increase the gain a little bit to, to match the rest and I'm just doing this visually because I will uh, look at it later on. This helps the compressor to work minimally and only take care of all these peaks and leave the vocal characteristics intact. At the same time, every time you cut, make a cut, even though there might be a you know, crossfade in between, if you really dive in, you would still get clicks and noises, pops and clicks, because of crossfades and because of you cutting the audio. Well, with the clip gain, you don't have those issues. So let me just go back to what it was before. And I'm going to demonstrate how to access the clip gain and use the clip gain automation to do all this work without introducing any pops and clicks and make it even easier and quicker to manage your vocals. While at the lower part of the, your clip, whether um, you're doing on the track view or in the edit view, just right click and select gain envelope. It's right there. You can do the same thing by right-clicking on the actual clip at the track as well. And once you have it, you can see the line. That's your uh, clip gain automation line. And it's uh, simply, I'm just going to go above the line, select these two, and then just go up as far as I can see that H mark. And now I can drag it up until I sort of visually see that it's this is a very similar level to the other clips. This is very similar to the fader, but it's not the fader. It's acting on the clip gain before any plugin is actually applied. And over here, I can just sort of see there might be some noises there. Let me just sort of... Size. Okay, we can hear background noises there as the vocal is moving around and getting ready for the next phase. So I'm just going to select um, that part there. And this time I'm going to drag it all the way down, make it silent. And now I'm just going to put a point there. I can add a point or I can select it. And now I'm just going to drag that up a little bit more. Again, the same thing here. I'm just going to select that and gain it up a little bit more. Put a point here. And now I can drag all the way down and get rid of all those noises. And here, I can see that's quite a bit of a gain there. It's quite loud. So I'm just going to select that bit and about there. I'm just going to reduce that tiny bit. This basically allows the vocal to really be uh, level. And I can just cut that bit then out. Again there, and lift it up. Oops. Just gonna get a dot there. Here we go. And then we can give that last word to really stand out. So if we look how it is, and let's have a quick listen. Okay, we can get rid of those noises as well. I'm just going to click and add points. 
The beauty about this is that you can come back in and readjust it in case you took out something um, that you didn't have to, like breath and feelings, emotions. Or if you increase the too much gain or not enough gain, you can always come back and do it, and it will not affect anything else be, uh, afterwards. Of course, uh, you still need to adjust your, um, you know, your compressor's threshold because that's being changed. And there we go. I think that's uh, pretty much done it. I'm not going to go any further. You can understand. You can always come back and get those clips or get the compressor to sort out those, um, you know, loud transients in, in controlling it as well. So now that I've visually done my clip gain uh, automation, let's have a listen. I'm just going to bypass it. So it's not going to have any effect. And we'll have a listen. And I'm going to turn it on and we'll listen and we'll see how much difference it makes. And on this channel, I do have a compressor added, but it's not going to be enabled. So this is the raw audio. There's no compressor after the clip gain automation that we just done. As you can hear, we can hardly uh, hear the actual um, introduction words that the singer is saying. If I could change the world. So let's enable it. vocal is more up front and we can hear it better. If I could change the world. Let's solo it and see how much of the noise that we got rid of, the room noise, as the singer is moving around. can hear the click track and everything else, but let's enable it. If I could rewind. Well, that's how you access and use the clip gain. You can use it on vocals and you can use it pretty much on any other instrument, of course. If this video was helpful, make sure you give me the thumbs up. And as always, thanks for watching and have a great time making music. Cheerio, guys.